in regards to, to chiropractic work, um, I guess I'm of the camp that, that kind of agrees that there isn't a ton of peer reviewed published research. However, um, I, I would bet that we're hedging on, you know, as more veterinary chiropractors become available, I bet, would bet that we're hedging on that research becoming available in the future. Um, however, at, at this juncture, um, for a dog with IVDD, we want to avoid higher impact activities. We want to avoid sudden movements, things like that. So um, specifically a dog that has been diagnosed I with IVDD, um, I would probably stick away from the purely chiropractic um, work, but I would encourage the other um, adjunctive therapies. So rehabilitation, aqua therapy, hydrotherapy, laser, massage, acupuncture, those are all things that we, um, even though we don't... Um, particularly practice them. Myself and Dr. Wong aren't trained in some of those therapies in specifics. Um, we absolutely work with a lot of our local rehabilitation um, veterinarians and even a, you know, a, a nurse in our hospital who provides those services as well um, and, and believe firmly in that alternative therapy too. Um, so I guess that's the, the short version of the answer is, is that I'm not sure I would be strongly recommending chiropractic therapy for a dog with diagnosed disc disease, um, but would recommend some of the other therapies in most situations. And, and, and the rationale behind a lot of is, is just, you know, dogs are not small humans. Um, they, they, their, their discs are different than, than human discs. The sorts of disc herniations that dogs get are, are different than um, the type of disc disease that, that people get. Um, the likelihood of paralysis or in, in some cases that are severe enough of, of actually dying from it um, are, are, are higher than in people just based on our, our anatomy. One of the discs to where the spinal cord ends in a person where it, whereas it ends in a dog, where the discs that bulge in people are versus where the discs that herniate in dogs are. So th those are all the things that sort of add up to um, most neurologists hesitation of saying, you know, yes, chiropractic adjustments are a um, part of our repertoire for, for managing um, disc disease or suspected disc disease in dogs.